Hello and welcome to See Fixed here at Knoxville. We are going to have some dirt racing here today. And, uh, <laughs> you know, me and dirt racing, you know, go together like ice cream and ketchup. So we're going to do our best, but I'm not convinced it's going to go well. And uh, I have a special brand of stupidity to show you here today <laughs> for the race. And uh, we'll get to that when it's time to actually start racing. Or, you know, I'll probably do a couple practice laps here in a minute. First, we're going to try to do qualifying. I'm going to qualify because I'm the number seven for whatever reason. Uh, really don't want to start in the middle of the pack if I can avoid it. Like, maybe start a little farther forward. I don't know how it's going to work out. But point is gotta qualify no idea if I'm doing well this is an all-time optimal at least so at least I can say I gave it my best effort My problem is mostly race conditions, though, especially whenever the track starts getting slick. Usually, I have a pretty tough time using the right amount of throttle and everything. But I, I guess I'll take that 21.9. It's my best ever. And uh, here's that stupidity I promised. I was experimenting in practice with third gear, and my engine will definitely blow if I do it too much, but I was running fastest by going the low line, and uh, using third gear. Now that's 100% because I'm terrible, I can't control the truck properly, I'm sure. But like shifting into third and then running the slower line, you can see it's getting me some green. I haven't decided whether I want to like the truck in third gear. I can't really do that forever, so I've been shifting into fourth. Like theoretically, I should be able to do that down here in fourth gear just fine, right? Like this should be what I'm able to do, and. I was able to kind of do it there, but I'm so inconsistent. I was so much more consistent when I had the extra, <laughs> I don't know, RPM? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let me let me be clear. If you're watching this because you want to be like, oh, I want to get better at this, don't watch me. <laughs> Please, you'll find out exactly what not to do. Like... It's actually feeling like fourth gear is much better right now, so I look like I'm stupid. However, when it was super slick in practice, when I went to third gear, it was working better for me. So maybe if the track slicks off, I'll try doing that? We'll see. I feel like I'm more in control, but that's probably in my head. I'm probably just finding ways to do things Worse than they should be done. Overcomplicating things. That's what I, I typically do. But I'll have that, you know, Joker card in my back pocket. We do have um, Austin in here, armed for gaming on YouTube. He's someone you want to watch if you actually want to learn how to race this, because obviously he's fast. He's on the pole right now. And I was watching his line in practice, and that kind of got me a better idea of where I should be running. Um, it is no, it speaks nothing about his skills, well, good. the fact that I cannot em emulate it, right on, and that I choose to do stupid things like go to third gear. Yep. <laughs> but hey, we got P9, that's not too bad. I guess I should have avoided qualifying, because enough people qualified that we actually would have been near the back, but... That always has its own host of dangers as well, being behind everything. Especially when it's going to be tough to, you know, get this thing slowed down if there is a wreck. But, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, number seven out here. 
I don't have any expectations for finishing well. I would just like to finish. Which is also its own challenge in C Fixed on Dirt, or in C Fixed in general, actually. But especially on Dirt, so... We'll see what happens. That's the end of the session. Probably no. bad things, but we'll see what happens. Good times. First one of these today. How shit show is it? Yes. That's my answer. And this is my first attempt at this as well, but I already know that's the answer. But you never know, we could get a good group here. The thing that scares me most is that on uh, race labs... So, shit show. My safety rating on Dirt Oval is B4.4, and it's the only 4 I see on there. There is an A2.8, which I guess is better than a B4.4. But there are worse safety ratings all around me, and I am absolutely clueless. I'm absolutely clueless on Dirt Oval, so... Uh, a little scared. <laughs> but I don't really know anybody or anything. Just uh, looking at the information provided to me and getting anxious about it. So something, though, that might be interesting, tire info went back to uh, 100%, but Dirt Oval now tire wear is a thing. So maybe if I just protect the rear tires, I'll get start gaining some time later. You never know. That would be a nice little benefit of being slow, I guess. We gotta make it that long first, though. Good luck. Good luck to everybody. Good luck to Austin on the pole. Hopefully he gets the win. <clears throat> Sorry. Gotta clear my throat. Doing lots of talking. You have two. And I uh, just gonna be so slow that I just get run over time. immediately, probably. And I will probably deserve it. The track temp is 70. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. P9. 50 laps. That seems like a lot. Car number zero one in the inside. For a dirt car. race. These races usually uh, seem a little. Long. Oh, I was so confused why that 12 was, like, sideways. I thought he was about to ram right into him. That's kind of weird. But he's in his pit stall, I guess, starting from the pits. There are cautions. Do we get tires now that the tires wear? We do. Interesting. I did not expect that. I actually thought we would have been no tires. So that's curious. I'm going to start third gear, give lots of space, all that good stuff. The one's warming up his tires on the mud, I guess? Is that a thing in dirt racing? I genuinely don't know. That doesn't seem to make sense to me, but... Who even knows, man? Not me. I don't know. Get ready, going green. I do know he's probably supposed to be in line and behind the guy ahead. For to be ready to go here. There we go. Good, and the leader is going. Okay, the car is in focus. Green, 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 green. Clear. Someone coming to my inside already. Scary. Fireworks are going off. Also scary. I know, the guy behind's really worrying me. He's entering really hard. He's giving me the fear. The leader has just done a 22.1. B9. The car ahead has just done a 22.2. Hanging in there, though. We're doing okay. We're driving. 
not get swamped so like I kind of thought I would. Being gentle on the throttle. Kind of just uh, avoiding going full throttle. That pays off for us in any way. Those fireworks are just going to keep going, I guess, huh? They're really excited about this race. Got Disney World level uh, supplies of fireworks, I guess. Okay, I got some room right now. We're going to try the stupid technique. We need we need an official name for this third gear dirt racing technique I've got going. Calling it the, uh, I don't know. Dummy shift. <laughs> New fastest lap for Cordell, 22.0. The car in C3, just at uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty equal, I think. What if we drive in hard and then... I should really get a uh, session last lap up so I can compare better. The leader is running 22.1. By the way, this is like really clean so far. The captain, Johnson, We're on lap seven, and there hasn't been a 30 truck pileup, which on its own would be impressive in a race with less than 30 trucks. But I think they could pull it off. Third gear probably isn't a thing. I'm thinking it's not. I'm thinking I'm just bad. Probably holding my line. With other stuff, but it was fun to try. I like trying weird stuff. <laughs> Something fun to do, I guess. Hey, I don't know though, look at that. I mean, that's getting a lot of green. You kind of lose it on exit though. <laughs> yeah, that's not a thing. I'm full of it. But we're having fun. I'm behind is 0.4 away. In his way up to us, someone's on the berm. They're taking the shortcut. You get a slowdown if you just drive over the berm like that? I, I don't know. Probably not, because I don't think it's actually going to be faster to do that, is it? If anything, you'll just damage your truck. You've just done a 22.4. All right, this is this is going well. The whole race. Happy with how I'm doing, at least for now. I'm do a big slider line. That wasn't really a big slider line. I kind of intended to make it a big slider line, but it kind of just softly went to the corner. Got way closer to that guy than I expected. Oh, that's Jabo. <laughs> Straight line. Probably gave him a heart attack. I'm sorry. I did not intend to get that close to him. Good consistency. Keep him coming. That was not intentional. <laughs> oh, he's getting sideways. Of course, everybody's getting sideways. It's friggin' dirt oval racing. Of course, they're getting sideways. But you know what I meant. Oh, that's a big wall hit. I'm gonna get around him. Look at us making a pass, maybe. Potentially. Looks like he's coming back. No, okay, that's a pass. Oh, he was a lap truck. Never mind. Look at me. <laughs> now I'm excited over passing lap trucks, which you know, it is a pass. Technically a pass. Can't take that away from me. Technically... 
theoretically a pass, is what I've done here today. This might be a case where, like, some guys fall off and because they're slamming the throttle, might that might be the only way to catch up to them. Hopefully I'm not one of the guys that are killing the rear tires. I feel like I'm not, but I say that every time. Might be key just to not make any mistakes, hit our line, and see what we can get out of this. Yeah, that's pretty good down there. The car, is now the leader, it sounds like. I don't remember what number Austin was, but I'm rooting for him, of course. Just not only because he's a, a very nice person, as far as I can tell, has a cool YouTube channel, but also because he's the only person I know in here, pretty much. <laughs> oh, don't hit the wall. Ugly. Guy behind's catching. That's bad for business. You've just done twenty two point six. Gotta pick up the pace. He's ready to go around me, I think. I picked up the pace and then he picked it up even more than I did. So I think he's ready to pass me at some point, but that's okay. If he's faster, he's faster. I shouldn't be shocked that somebody's faster than me out here. Is this the cleanest C-Fix race of all time on dirt? Because it might be. We're almost halfway through this thing already. Looks like it's getting a little slicker out here. I'm going high. I'm going to leave him a lane. Okay, okay, don't hit me, please. Just go around. I am but a wee... I am but a wee solid surface paved oval driver. I know no better. Let's let you go. We're in the top 10, which is so much better than I deserve. Yeah, shortcut. Off roading. Why was that fast? Was that just, oh, that was just because that was the one I let him buy last lap. I was like, what on earth? Why was I two tenths up? Wow, he's going fast. Or am I going slow? Both. Probably both. Yeah, we're going third gear in. That was really stupid. Why did that work? I didn't mean to get on the berm, it just happened. <laughs> it's so dumb. I don't know, maybe this is a thing people do. I genuinely don't know. I'm assuming I'm just doing something stupid that nobody would even bother doing, because why would you? But maybe. Maybe I just accidentally figured out how to actually do it. But I doubt it. Slider line. Colton, the next car is Johnson. 
This is fun. I'm having fun. I can't believe we've been green this whole time. Get the right group of people, I guess. It's not so bad now, is it? The leader just did us 22.587. Sixteen's getting really sideways all of a sudden. We have eighteen. The captain Johnson ahead is now not point nine. Okay. Try to figure out where he's going. Go low. That was a twenty two right. point eight. Another technically pass. Still counts. If we go green this entire way, I'll take back everything I ever said about sea fixed dirt racing. Maybe we can catch this 16 again. He looks like he's having a lot of handling issues. It's like smashing the throttle, it looks like. You've just done a 22.7. Could we possibly make a pass that doesn't need an asterisk next to it? Uh oh, we'll see. Let me try staying higher this time. It seems like everybody's kind of running higher than time. Was oh wow, he's like basically spinning. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Sirs and ma'ams, remove that asterisk. We just made a pass with a capital P. P9. Oh my god, we're P9. Have you ever? No, I never. Don't think I'm gonna get any more than this, but man, I am just thrilled <laughs> with what I've gotten out of this. We could still get like a late caution, and this goes to absolute shambles, but I'm just I'm still happy with what we've got here. This has been pretty cool. The car in front of us is now Hotello. 14 wall riding up there? Aww, here's the late caution of your. Yeah, I hate to see it. So, do people pit? Now? Is that, is that something we're gonna need to do? I just realized that uh, that was muted. Oops. Yeah, that's fun. One good race and they're a good battle. I'm really interested to know people's tire wear at the end of this, at least their right rear. There's tire wear? Yeah, the new update, like a week 13, they're, they added tire wear to dirt. It's also an arrow on dirt now, too. Really? Interesting. Yeah, I saw one of my friends ran one of these last night and he said the tire was at like 85 or something. I didn't know that they added arrow. So that was like a quick glance before he left. Also, Justin, I'm having fun with my mid off back here for seven. I think that was just a self spin, too. I think maybe that's a lap truck. So that wasn't even like someone wrecking kind of somebody. Fall too far behind from the guys in front of us, and I was not doing shit. Could be wrong though. Look at your top seven there in the standings. Can we please not all turn into idiots here and keep up the good racing. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Great job. I love the little amount of caution laps, and we just go straight away. All right, double file. Yeah, I caused the caution, man. If somebody hit the hill, I just slammed the brake and it spun me around. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. 
So it wasn't. No, what I meant was like it's just three laps and then the action. action. Yes, the front of your truck looked like you honked out of Prius. I hope this stays good, Let stays clean and again. happy and fun. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Outside. Outside is clear. Edgar is now in the lead. We'll roll this bottom line, I guess. Nice save. Outside. Oh, Clear big burn head up there. Nearly flipped themselves over, it looks like. Okay, don't get too happy on the throttle. Clear high. Take it easy now, me. The next car is Johnson. Third gear. Okay, well, that's not going to help me. The yellow flag is out. Captain Pinnell, what's your argument about that? Pit road is closed right now. Give me a bat! Wheel damage. No! God damn it! There was no drip on the bottom whatsoever. Of course, it's me, the only one that gets wrecked this race. Dude, that was sick. I, we were five wide at one point, I think. We were four wide and all through sliders at the same time for the lead. Twice. Uh, one, I was thinking about a two for one slider there when we were three wide, but I didn't So, think third gear is cursed. So I just stuck it up on the bottom. Obviously. <laughs> That had nothing to do with me using third gear and everything to do with that guy just driving it and hitting me. But keeping it going, he somehow the the guy in first. This is awesome. Yeah, that was crazy. At least four wide for first off of two, and I was like on the bottom just rolling. You guys were cutting down. I don't know how none of us wrecked. That was awesome. I'm glad they're having a good race at least. I mean, I am too, except for that one time I died. But you know. Not the end of the world, I guess. We just lost all of our track position, is all. With five laps to go. Which is kind of the end of the world if you wanted to finish well. But, you know, overall, our race has been good. I wish every race was like this. They usually start. Yeah, we're all wrecking. Line up on the outside. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Well, we'll try to get some back, I guess. Probably not going to be able to. Good luck, you guys. Not going to force it either. I'm not going to wreck people. Get ready. But. Going green. Kind of stinks. We got hit. I don't think the damage is going to do anything. Let the madness begin, begin once again. Okay. We're only half going. Oh my god. Sorry, Kyle, my recharge. Oh my god. I just want to survive, man. Oh god. I'm off, I'm off of the gas. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, straight you out and get off you. Stop! What the? F hit the freaking brakes! The yellow's out! Jesus Christ! Okay, we get a 2x for no reason. Damn. Under caution, it's closed. Pit road's open. Full course yellow, pits are open. That was dumb. Man, this is badass. Yeah, I don't know why we drove back up onto the track. That was dumb, but. 
Yeah, nine. Sorry, I was trying to get off of you, and you just it just hooked up, so I couldn't do anything. Caution's out, and I'm seeing a guy behind me, and I hit oh, the gas we to avoid him. And I'm like, all right, well, we didn't get hit, and then he keeps hitting the gas, <laughs> and he runs into me. Why would you do this? Oh, that out me, Josh. I'm sorry. I thought I got us off. What is going on over there? there on the bottom. They going to the pits, I guess. Seventeen. Just try to act like a dope on the next start, though. No, no need to bunch everybody up. That's what caused all that mayhem. I know you guys are trying to play games up there, and I understand that, but we're off just going to extend the race. Let them pass on the outside. Nothing caused nothing there, homeboy. Lucky dog on the outside. Oh boy, well we get another 2x. Still no damage is going to matter. Bit of a dumb 2x. But I know these things are hard to slow down anyway. I get it. Why are my frames pooping? Stop it. Gonna be outside. P14. Okay Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Why is the one dragging the wall up there? Yeah, I can't do the same, trying to stack everyone up here. It's just gonna end under yellow. Leader controls the race. Frames are in the toilet. I'm, about to go green. I'm just That's saying, I want a good race. I don't want to send our cuff. He's obviously doing it on purpose, like, because he knows it bunches up the field and he can get away. Kind of, kind of smart, but... He's the going. Why are my frames doing this? It's like stuttering. Stop it. Clear. Okay, that's a brilliant move, sir. Thank you. All right, let's think of it. We're gonna die. You're in the middle. Three wide. Right side. Two wide. You're in the middle. Three wide. Okay, we're on the berm. That's fun. There we go, losing all our spots, and they're wrecking. Man, I don't get these exactly. Uh, I went all the way for the zero X. Slow car down low. What is this guy doing going, going backwards? Holy! Like, I mean, I barely touched it, I got a 2x. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Better schedule some testing, we'll get him next time. This blue cart, why you have to ruin that race, man? Dude, I think I was like, 4th or 5th getting into turn 3 on the last one. I almost came back. Sorry about that. Yeah, well, I just kept it on the bottom there. I didn't mean to get I was trying to get up into you to try to get a second, but it's, you got it, it's fine. Oh, it's all good. There was nothing dirty there, like, at all, ever. That was so fun. That, yeah, that was badass, right? They need to run this shit every week, Trump Thunder. That was the most fun I've ever had on iRacing in the six years I've been on here. Wow, that's high praise. Uh, we get four, we get 13th. Alright, it said 14th. Now it says 13th. Someone else had, a uh, some sort of penalty. Um, really good race there, Kyle. That was... Yeah, that kind of sucked, because we got destroyed at the end and ended up with freaking 8x or whatever. 6x. Yeah, that was good. But, uh, at least we had a good run to start. Like, what? I don't know. And he just drives right up in front of me. Very polite. Are you running up into me? Backing out of the three wide there. Try to cut under. I get on the berm because I don't have any room. And then they run into each other, and then of course it's right in front of me. That could have been really bad, but. <laughs> Keep it moving the right direction, I guess. And then they wreck some more. This guy's driving backwards. I guess that's the start finish line, so. I guess I understand it, but. Yeah, there was a, uh, you know, you know how they say diamond in the rough? I think there was like rough inside the diamond in this, in this case, like it on the outside, it was looking like a diamond of a race. And then at the core, oh, it's just C fixed. <laughs>
Oh well. Still, there's still fun to be had. And uh, that's about where I would have expected the finish anyway, despite how well it was going to start with. So, is what it is. We'll take a look. Some of the contact. Oof. Didn't be too much to see for the first part of the race. That's a pretty bad move by the 10. 10's kind of all over the place in general, it looks like. On to lap 6. This is just going to be a wall hit. A pair of them, even. 5. Drifting up into the 1. 14's out of control, coming up and getting the 13, that easily could have been a caution. All the way to lap 28, it was so clean for so long. I really wish that one lap car hadn't spun out, because we could have gone green all the way, everybody was spread out. And of course things fall apart whenever we're all stacked up again. Team gassing it up just a little bit too much it looks like, losing control. Here's the 18, slamming on the brakes, spinning it, and this was your caution. So the 19 just gets loose, ends up heading straight for the berm. They're both using too much throttle, I think, and the 19's just swerving all over the track, and the 18 Austin, um, are you hits the brakes too hard. To that race? 91 80. Remember to look at the tires. No one else shared. up on the berm, gets tapped by the 12. Don't think that was a caution. Some old habits die hard, I guess. Using the outside wall to turn. Terrible. Look at that. That's terrible. Seriously, man? Look how far back he is. Do people specifically target me? <laughs> Do I have more enemies than I think? Like, that looks like he couldn't have tried harder to aim for me. And then, of course, we're getting slammed around. We lose all our track position. We were top 10. We had a top 10 going. That's pretty bad. Glad I could be part of it. Knoxville. That's pretty good. And this awful start. There must have been black flags handed out there or something, and some people just stayed on track, I guess. 21 gassing it up way too much, and then gets turned by the 20. 15 driving down into the 9, and then it's just going to finish its itself off. Isn't this when I get rear-ended ten years later? I think it is. Yep, they're wrecking. Okay, time to slow down. Goshen's gonna come out. Alright. Alright, we're good. But, yeah, it's the same guy, are you kidding me? Does this guy have a problem with me? What is your... That's the same guy again! The Caution is out! My dude. Like, look, this this is when I saw him flying up. And you'll notice, I'm, go I'm slowing down for the rag. I'm ready to slowly move through it. I see him flying up, and so I gas it up because he's about to arca break me. Then he I get away from him, I'm like, okay, I guess we're safe. Nah, he's not done gassing it up. He comes and hits me. Why? Why? I don't understand. Get away from me. Oh well. Guys bouncing off of each other. Three wide. They get to the uh, white flag. The one's still going to be using the wall to turn. That's ugly. These guys going to wreck. 
nowhere for me to go. Really nothing I can do there. 13 just kind of turns down, I think. Too far, and they collide. 13 goes around, and then I did about like everything I could not to find this barrel. More than I did. Like, you can see, like, I'm over here trying to avoid it. And then I'm already right here, all the way turning this wheel about as far to the right as possible to start preparing to get out of the way of that barrel. And that saved me some spots there, because if I kill my truck, stop myself cold, then uh, I probably lose a couple more spots. But, uh, yeah, there was a C-Fixed hidden in here somewhere, but it sure looks pretty good for a while. It's the four reverses into the wall and then across the line. But I'll take it. Even if it just smells a little bit, at least it doesn't reek. Quote of the day. Anyway, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed. We had our uh, typical C fix shenanigans, but we had some good racing too. So, hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.